Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey from World Zombination Nation. Now I'm on a different platform today. I am on my iPhone today, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to get that second video up yesterday as the proletariat rolled out a new update, so I wasn't able to get a new code until today. So I wasn't able to play and record. However, I'm here now. I'm going to do an update video today, and if I have time, I'm going to try to get another Survivor video out as well. But right off the bat, let's take a look at some of the new updates we have here. They've, they were actually pretty good little updates and like UI changes and things that just made the game look better altogether. So the first thing is the guild leveling. They added guild leveling. Let's go to my guild right here. Now, now you can level up your guild. You can see the guild XP. You can see the leader. You can just like it looks better pretty much overall as well. We have, we have these perks right here, which we don't really have any yet because, as you can see, our guild isn't too far along. There's nobody in it. So, anybody out there watching this video, if you want to join a guild, check out Zomination Nation. I'm very active. I'll talk to y'all. I love playing. I just want to get to know y'all. It'll be fun stuff. We had some people coming in and out, but I wasn't on, so they didn't really feel like staying. But hey, it's okay. They'll be back eventually, maybe. But, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, when you work with your guild, you can gain access to perks, benefiting your guild, which I just showed you. Uh, there's faster stamina regeneration, discounts on packs, and more coins and more. So if you want to join the guild and get all these extra fancy bonuses and stuff, check out my guild. So you saw the new UI, which looks amazing. It shows you, like, members contributed, like, what they've contributed to the guild, stuff like that. Just awesome. Tons of things. Another thing that was improved was the chat UI. So as you can see here... The UI used to be a little um, shaky, you could say, but now it just has autocorrect and has a bunch of other really nice things that just are very helpful. So we had the chat UI revamp more with more information, autocorrect, easier sending and scrolling and more. So it was very good, really helpful. I loved it. It was a great update all together. And there's also some fixes in this update. There are rally points no longer unselected by tapping outside the circle, which is nice. Zombies can no longer be mutated on the other side of walls. Improved frame rate across the board, so does better frame rate, which is awesome. And the fixed UI crashed with level 50 units. Now, I don't have level 50 units, and I don't really know who does. Probably the really high-level players, which I'm not too high-level yet. So I haven't had that problem, but if you did have that problem, it has been fixed. So, guys... That's pretty much about it for this update. I'm gonna get one in. I'm just gonna get one attack in on Rio de Janeiro. Let's defend it. I'm just gonna get in one tiny attack, just you know, for the sake of the ending of this video, just because it wasn't too exciting. I just went over the update, but you know, I liked it. It was a good update. 1.0.8, I believe. It was a good update. I enjoyed it. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go. I wanna go back because I don't wanna spend too much money on Rio. I want to attack Mexico City. Yeah, I want to attack Mexico City. Let's defend Mexico City. I'm feeling Mexico City right now. Let's, we're just going to do one attack, and then I'll come back later with the full let's play with the survivors. It'll be good. It'll be good. All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to put my handy-dandy machine gunner right here in the back because I love him. He's the best. He's the bomb, accompanied by some snipers back here. And then, since this is mostly going to be a spitter, sprayer, runner guy area, I'm going to put down several of these handy dandy lumberjacks accompanied by a firefighter. And then I'm going to put some of my, I'm going to put one mercenary and then an outlaw back there. And now here again, we're going to have more of the same. We're going to have several sprayers and runners. We're not going to be brutes over here, so I'm just going to put down the lumberjack again accompanied by a firefighter on each side puts another mercenary on each side and then i'm gonna start putting some outlaws back here to help defend the area right here and that should be that's a pretty decent setup i think i like it let's start the waves let's fast forward a little bit let's just start them on their way so i guess there's a little lag on this video it's just due to that i'm having to use a different recording option i'm using air server instead of my usual recording way and it's not really my favorite. It's not really the best because I just don't really use it. I had to download the trial of it for it, for this episode. Because usually my Wi-Fi is just awful, and I'm not really I can't really use Air Server just because it gets too laggy. But hopefully it's not too laggy right now as I'm using different Wi-Fi that's not my own. <laughs> but it's all it's all right. It's not too bad. 
So we're doing pretty good. Uh, on the right side, we're looking to have a little bit more trouble, but it's okay. We got a good group right here. It's not too bad. On the left side, all we're really gonna have to worry about, we have the machine gunner and he's reloading right now, but he's still able to tear down tons of people handily with no problem. There goes the brute, down he goes, and it should be an easy way out from here. Now, it looks like we basically have this side beat on the right, if we can just keep those, that, those guys alive. We have a mercenary and an outlaw. It looks like they will be able to finish off the last bit of that horde, and they got it. Boom. Oh, is that a new little graphic? They just zoomed in for me. I don't know. That's cool. As well, they did do some UI changes right there. Units deployed. It shows their health now. I like that. That's a new addition. Oh, yeah, there's another thing that I noticed right there. So we have that as well. But then one more thing. So when you go to attack right here, if you go to defend, when you update, they had a different graphics right here for when you're around your new, your units right here, this area right here. It's a different look. They changed it. They redesigned it a little bit with their leveling and everything like that. I liked it. But that's about it, guys, for the update video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.